Good afternoon, Year 10. It's Miss Duna here and welcome to your Summer Term 1 Celebration Assembly. You've made it to the end of what's been quite a short half term and it's three o'clock and it's time for you now to sit back and reflect on the achievements of our year group. So today is all about celebrating our achievements and all of the awards today are part of the lessons that you study on virtual school. So I thought it would just be nice to share some other things that have been going on that are worth celebrating as well and that have put smiles on our faces. So the first thing is the amount of baking and cooking that you're all doing. I've had some pictures shared a lot on Twitter. Here's just a few. So firstly, we've got Molly's selection of cupcakes. Now she rose to the challenge that Miss Thompson set, which was about baking um, a cake or some cakes that link to lessons in school or teachers in school that kind of um, represented them in some way. So Molly used her imagination and made a cupcake for each of the subjects that she studies and I especially like the um, Romeo and Juliet one very very good and also Holly has been baking and now she does this baking to fundraise she's going on a trip to Kenya so she's trying to fundraise for that and the, the cakes she makes are absolutely incredible as you can see the party ring one has got my name all over it so thank you for showing those Holly I also wanted to celebrate Owen's dog because Owen's dog whenever Owen gets up to go get a drink or whatever when he's on virtual school his dog just jumps in his place and he's trying to get involved in the action so thank you so much for sharing that Owen I love that photo um, it's been really nice to see that now that the lockdown has been lifted very, very slightly, um, Alex is able to get out and do what he does best and do his cricket. So I was really, really happy to see that photo. Hopefully there's more of that coming up for all of us. And also, I just wanted to appreciate some of the amazing work that you're doing visually to make it look really pretty so that you can keep it in your room um, I know Saz has been doing excellent notes Lee's been doing excellent notes but this is Maddie's beautiful geography work and I just love seeing things like this so well done if you are featured on here um, and thank you for sharing some things outside of school with us for now, though, it is time to kick off with our subject awards. Now, these are for students, as always, nominated for their fantastic effort and, and progress while in virtual school. And this is no mean feat. It's a really tough thing to, to work online all day. So if you've won an award for this, you should be dead proud of yourselves. Um, so let's see who has won. We're going to kick off then with our wellbeing award. I know loads of you getting involved in happy hour. So Miss Evans would like to nominate and congratulate the following student for their um, work in wellbeing. And that is Sophie B. Sophie, you are an absolute superstar. Sophie, if you didn't know, has not been on virtual school for a while because she's had her operation. But she's back fighting fit. And I think she was online within like two or three days of having the operation. So she is an absolute inspiration to us all. So glad to have you back, Sophie, and well done. Next up is the Ladder Centre Award. Now, I'm really, really happy that this student has won. They have been doing incredible work recently in maths, getting back into lesson, and I'm really excited for what they're going to get up to in Year 11. So the winner of this award is Kieran C. Well done, Kieran. Next up, the Social Studies Award. Now, the winner of this award, this half term, is Alex M. Well done, Alex. The Child Care Award this half term goes to Sophie B. Again, well done, Sophie. That's absolutely brilliant. Hospitality and catering. There are two groups up for this award and it's lovely to see those of you baking along with uh, the members of staff each lesson. So let's see who's won this one. It is Jake A. Well done, Jake. Excellent. Next up, we've got drama and there's amazing work going on in drama at the minute, especially working towards all those um, coursework pieces that you've got to do. We've got people recording, um, doing monologues. It's absolutely brilliant to see. And the winner of this award has won it for the second time in a row. It's Kaylee. Well done, Kaylee. Fantastic drama work that you've been doing. Next up is iMedia. Now, Miss Kirk is obviously really proud of some of the work that you're all doing, um, but she wanted to give a big, big well done to Holly. Well done, Holly. 
And computer science, again, I think we've got a repeat of last half term, so a huge well done to Ahmed. Well done, Ahmed. Okay, the two businesses then, we're going to start with our GCSE course. The winner, yet again, another student who has won it for the second half term in a row, is Kieran. Well done, Kieran. New name for BTEC. So the winner of this award, I am really proud of. They've really upped their game on virtual school. And that is Christodia. Well done, Christodia. Really proud of you. And Health and Social Award, it's great to see loads of you working on your coursework pieces in Health and Social. The winner of this award, this half term, is Candice. Well done, Candice. And PE, so again, lots of coursework going on to get that go for gold. Let's see who's won the PE award. It is Janaid. Well done, Janaid. Next up then is the Duke of Edinburgh Award, chosen by Mr Grimshaw. Now loads of you are already aware, there is a DOV Teams page, so if you haven't already checked it out, go and check it out if you are doing Duke of Edinburgh. It is really interesting to see how they have adapted things to cope with lockdown. So as, as you've probably seen, if you're on that group, there are now changes to the things that um, they're accepting for volunteering and sport and things like that. So do go and see that page or ask Mr Grimshaw if you're unsure. There is one student who is an absolute natural at Duke of Edinburgh and who has absolutely done brilliant things this half term towards it. And that is Gabriella. Well done. Next up is DT. Um, the DT teachers are really, really hot on seeing who's online, who's working hard. They email me all the time. They keep registers. So if you are on your DT lessons and working hard, I know the teachers are so, so proud of you. And obviously your NEA is being released very, very soon. So we need to make sure we're on it. The student that has been chosen to win the DT award this half term is Precious. Well done, Precious. And now we're on to music. Now, music is a really small course, but yet again, we've got a repeat winner. And the winner this half term is Joshua H. Well done, Josh. Dance. Brilliant, brilliant students in dance. But again, it's one student that is standing out to the dance staff. And that is Madison V. Second time in a row, Madison. Well done. And photography now. The student that has won the photography award for summer term one is Kira. Well done, Kira. Closely linked to obviously art, and the winner of the art award this half term is Maya. Well done, Maya. You've done some brilliant work on virtual school, so that's very well deserved. Okay, on to our EBAC subjects then. So the first award is for history, and this half term it goes to. Terry, well done Terry, Miss Nuttall has been singing your praises in history, well done. And geography, the geography winner this half term is Oni, well done Oni, again you've been doing brilliant work on virtual school, we're really proud of you. Now on to Spanish, Miss Castro has been on it with her class, she asked to join our teams page so she could remind Lots of Spanish students to make sure they have been getting on and getting on to the lesson okay. So it is with great pleasure that I say the winner of the Spanish award is Jasmine. Well done, Jasmine. Obviously French. French have brilliant attendance in their lesson. So well done if you speak French and you're online. I know Miss, Miss uh, Paula, Miss Connolly, Miss Huntington, Miss Manganaro, they're always singing the praises. So the winner of the French award this half term goes to... Ahmed. Well done, Ahmed. I know you're always online in French. And now on to the sciences. So to start off with, it is the students that study triple. So the winner of the physics award is Ahmed again. I just need to keep copy and pasting your name today, Ahmed. Well done. You are working so incredibly hard. Then chemistry. The winner this half term is Neve, well done Neve, you've been doing amazing work on virtual school in all your subjects, so it's lovely to see your name for chemistry. Biology, the winner is Ellie B. 
Well done, Ellie. Again, you've also been doing brilliant work across virtual school. So it's lovely to see your name there. And the overall Trilogy Science Award, this half term goes to Kieran. Well done, Kieran. On to the final awards, which are for your basics. So to start off with, we're going to go with maths. Now, it's lovely to see loads of your names recognised every single week by Miss Keo, where the Mathematician of the Week is shared. So it is really, really lovely to give the award to this student today. They have been working so hard in maths, and I know their teacher is so proud of them. So a big, big well done to Amna. Well done, Amna. And then on to English, two awards up for grabs. The first is for literature, so you have been studying an inspector calls, revising the plot, the characters, the themes. The winner this half term for their work on inspector calls is Abdul. Well done, Abdul. Mrs. Bond is blown away by your responses. And finally, English language. The student, after a hot debate that was picked by the English department for their brilliant, brilliant work, on paper two is Camelpreet. Well done, Camelpreet. Miss Delaney is really proud of you, especially, but we all are. And it is worth saying at this point, I hope your speaking and listening are going well. Remember, you've got half term now. If you do want to think about it, ready for when we're back at school. Um, and any questions, please do ask your English teacher. But well done, Camelpreet. And, and I know yours is going to be brilliant. And now we're on to our whole school awards. So as always, these are for students whose achievements have gone beyond subjects. So obviously you're all working hard, especially in particular subjects. I know some of you really focus on a little bit more than others. Obviously we wanna work hard across the board. So I want to make sure that those students are now being rewarded. So even though we're in virtual school, it is so impressive and so lovely to see you putting your all into things across the board um, and I want to celebrate that right now. First up then are the house awards. These are chosen by your heads of houses who can see everything that you're doing on the virtual school. Um, it's also worth saying that they are all still taking part in the destination challenge so some of you may have won awards for contributing to that um, and it may be for other things so firstly the sapphire award chosen by mr patel this half term goes to sajan well done sajan great work across virtual school at the minute the ruby award chosen by miss gale is stevie lee well done stevie lee the opal award chosen by mr dean goes to Abdul, well done Abdul. And the Emerald Award chosen by Miss Nuttall is Alexander T. Well done Alex. Okay, the Enrichment Award this half term goes to a student who epitomises the word enrichment really. They do so much outside of school, in particular a sport. Now this student has been recognised by her club for her achievements um, prior to the lockdown and I know she's probably itching to get back. So this award goes to a student who is absolutely brilliant at their sport of hockey and that is Paige. Well done, Paige. I was really proud to see your name for that award. So well done. OK, now on to the free school values. So our first one is for the Be Respectful Award. This one is going to a student who is always respectful to members of staff. The way they talk to um, us on Teams, on Twitter and on the phone is always really, really polite. They always ask how you are and it's just lovely to interact with them. So a big, big well done to Molly P. Well done, Molly. Keep up the baking. And the Be Prepared Award this half term goes to a student who, not going to lie, if we were at school, I never would have put them down as getting this, apart from the fact they're always quite early to things, which is very prepared of them. But in virtual school, they are always in their lesson, sometimes before the teacher, but always on time. They are in every lesson. They don't miss any. And they support staff as well. So if we're having technical issues or anything like that, they know exactly what to do and they help you out. So this award goes to a very deserving student who we're really proud of. And it is 
Owen. Well done, Owen. Thanks for your help yesterday with the poll because that really helped me. And the final award is to a student whose name I have never read out before, I don't think. And they are a student that goes under the radar a hell of a lot. And the only reason I knew that this student was working as hard as they were was because of the Go For Gold spreadsheet and they nearly had a full row and I was really surprised. I don't know why, I think it's just because this student's quite quiet and as I said, they, they do go under the radar sometimes. So I'm really, really happy to give this award to this student and I know in the future we're going to see amazing things from them. And this award goes to Ella Marie. Well done, Ella Marie. I'm really, really proud of you. So now it's time for the ASL award. So this is the award that I have chosen to give to a student for a certain reason. So when I was thinking about this award this half term, I wanted to give it to a student who is engaging in virtual school. They are logged on, on time. Even if it's not perfect every single time, it's most of the time. I wanted to give it to a student who, when they are on, is respectful to staff. And this student has been when they've emailed me or spoke to me. It's always extremely polite and even professional, which I really, really appreciate on virtual school. I wanted to make sure it was to a student that was submitting work for feedback um, and was just epitomising the three school values. And this student really does that. And I've seen it really, really clearly on virtual school. So a huge well done to Daria. Well done, Daria. I'm really proud of how hard you're working. Keep it up. The next award is for the Head of Year Award. And this is chosen by Mrs Thompson. Now, I say chosen. Mrs Thompson finds it extremely hard to pick these awards a lot of the time. And I don't blame her because she speaks to you a lot. She calls you at home. She gets you out of bed in the morning. And she finds it really difficult, whether it's on a weekly basis or for these big assemblies. But this student, she came out with as a kind of a gut reaction. And I can see why she's picked them. So she would like to give her head of year award to someone who is not yet perfect, is anyone, but is making progress. So every single day they log on to virtual school, they are getting a bit better. And I can see it as well, whether it's with the respect they're showing, whether it's with their confidence building, whether it's something that they're attempting for the first time. So this award is going to someone who is the epitome of progress at the minute. And I am looking forward to seeing them continue on that path. So the winner of Mrs Thompson's award is Logan. Well done, Logan. OK, and the last award that I've picked this half term is for most overall progress now this would normally be rooted in data but obviously you aren't able to sit any exams at the minute even though your exams are a, less than a year away now so we are all striving like Logan did for this progress there is one student who I need to give an award to this half term this is the one that fits them the most so I want to recognize a student who was new to Aldersley this year, who got thrown in into the middle of year 10 and had to pick everything up really quickly. Not only that then, very shortly after they started, we then went on to the lockdown and they were having to access their new lessons with new peers, with new teachers from home. And they are doing so well. They are always near the top of the points leaderboard. I see their brilliant work, especially, for example, in English. I know they work really, really hard, but across the board they do. And I, I know if we were to have sat some exams this half term and we were in school, this student would have done really, really well. So I want to recognise and say a big well done to Charlie. Well done, Charlie. We're really, really proud of you and keep it up. So the final award, as always, is the Principal's Award. And the Principal's Award is the one that is chosen by our principal, Mrs Davis. So it is a really amazing award to be given. Now, this is to a student that, in all honesty, if you'd have asked me this time last year, would this student get this award? I would have probably said no. 
And the reason is because this student, again, like the, the word you keep hearing in these last few awards is progress. The progress they are making is absolutely phenomenal. Now, by progress, I mean the, the comments that they make on their virtual school lessons are so insightful. They show a really high level of intelligence. And if we can see that in virtual school, we're going to see it in exams. They are engaging. They are really, really polite and really respectful when they're on Teams. And what I really like about this student and why I think Mrs Davis has picked this student is because when they find things hard now and challenging, they're showing more resilience towards it. And I know that that, that has sometimes been hard for this student and I'm really proud of them for it. So a really, really big well done to junior well done junior and i can speak on behalf of the whole english department that we are absolutely buzzing to listen to your speak and are listening when you do it so well done that is a fantastic award to achieve so that's it for the awards if you won one a huge well done it is such an achievement whether it was a subject that you've been shining in or whether it was a whole school award so that means we've seen your work across the board it's a really really big achievement if you didn't win that isn't something to to stress about or to worry about but maybe you can think about next time challenging yourself that little bit more so if you really wanted to get the physics award think about next half term could you challenge yourself even more in physics? Could you get involved in a chat, not go to the teacher as much? Maybe submit some extra work for feedback. If you want a whole school award, the thing that stood out for those was the word progress, wasn't it? So can you think about just getting that little bit better every day? It might be such a tiny thing. It might be that you decide that in one lesson that day, you're going to say something on the chat. It might be a question. It might be that you help someone out. Whatever it is, really think about it and this is my final thoughts for you that I'd like you to reflect on on this Friday afternoon. So after this finishes it is half term and half term is obviously a week off for you in these weird circumstances I know to 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 rest to relax and also to reflect that alliteration there. So a few things to think about there and I've popped them in bullet points here. Make sure in this half term that you spend time away from the screen. Make sure you are getting outside. It is sunny this week. The forecast is looking pretty okay. Can you get out for the walk? Can you do some social distancing at following the guidelines from the government that might pick you up a little bit? Um, could you finish the jigsaw that you've started? Could you do a bit of baking like Molly and Holly? Rhyme. Um, whatever it is, loads of you saying, I know how hard it is to be in front of a screen all day. Loads of you doing like exercise challenges, things like that. Just spend some time away from the screen. And if all else fails, pick up a book. That's what I like to do. But also, we are going into um, the final stages of the year, aren't we? So as I've said with the awards, consider subjects that you want to focus on when we return to online lessons and how the teachers in those lessons could support you. Now, a lot of you are um, picking subjects to focus on that you like more, um, which obviously is a very natural human instinct, but at the end of the day, you will be sitting exams in all of the subjects that you are enrolled in on Teams right now. So make sure if you know you're neglecting one of the subjects that you don't like as much, put a bit of effort into that and think about how you could tackle it. And I'm gonna do an assembly on that when we get back, so keep your eyes peeled. And the final thing to end on, not in a daunting way, but a little bit, next half term will be your last in year 10. This is your last term as a year 10 student and we all know what comes after that. So how are you going to make the most of it? You've seen or you should have seen on Teams, there's a letter um, that your parents can read about how we're doing live lessons. So your teachers will be, their face will be there, they'll share the PowerPoint with you and it will really feel like you're in the classroom. Are you going to make the most of that or are you going to have a lie in till one o'clock in the afternoon? So please keep in touch with this. Please keep speaking to us if you're struggling if it's your sleeping pattern that's off um if you're thinking that you've missed something and you don't quite understand the work you know who you can email it's your teachers for that subject it's myself it's mrs thompson and always our support is there for you
So all that's left to say then is thank you for listening. Well done to the award winners and well done to those students who didn't win awards but are working super, super hard as well. We see all of you. It's hard to pick just one student sometimes. So have a lovely half term. Stay safe and we will see you from 8.40am on Monday the 1st of June on virtual school. Bye.